Hello, for fourth graders. Today we are going to learn about another part from Unit 5, Matter and Forces. Are you ready? This part is materials. A material can be one or more types of matter. There are two types of materials, natural, which comes from nature, and they can be from animals, for example, wool. With wool, we can do lots of things like scarves, jumpers. It can come from plants like cotton, and we have lots of different things made of cotton, like t-shirts or other types of materials. And minerals like marble. This house, these floors were made of marble. They can also be manufactured, which it means that it's, it is man-made. Like plastic, look at all the examples of plastic that we find. CDs, bottles, jars, and we and plastic is manufactured from natural gas, oil, coal, and plants. Paper, like toilet paper, books, uh, boxes from the cereals, or boxes that contain eggs, it comes from wood. And steel, like the knives in the kitchen, it comes from iron ore. We also are going to learn the properties of materials. These are the properties of materials. Color, hardness, resistance, elasticity, thermal conductivity, and solubility. In color, our eyes see the, the color reflect, reflected in the object. So at the top, you can see a pink ball, and it's pink because um, the light, because, the, because your eyes reflect the pink light and absorbs all other colors. And the green stone, it's green because it reflects green light and absorbs all other colors. Hardness. We can talk about hardness um, if, if we scratch an object like the like the the diamond is hard so we can't scratch it we can use it to scratch other materials so it's really hard and the chalk is is soft because we can it can be scratched resistance resistance means that um we can break with it is it means that we cannot break an object. For example, the, the plastic suitcase is more resistant, it's harder, it's, it's harder than, the, than the glass because we can break it. Elasticity, we can it means that we can stretch an object and it come, it goes back to the same uh, shape. So the elastic bands are, are elastic, they have a lot of elast elasticity, but the pencil doesn't have any elasticity because it doesn't come back to the same to the shape. If we if we try to, to move it, we break it. The thermal conductivity, um, 
it talks about if we can transfer heat easily and with the with the metal spoon we can if we are cooking soup we feel the heat so we can get burned and if we if we use the oven glove it doesn't transmit thermal conductivity we cannot feel the heat so it's a thermal insulator solubility is how soluble the uh, something is a material is so for example salt and sugar we can we can solve them in we can dissolve them in water and they mix with water and we can't see it but the um, fork can't be dissolved.